I wanted, I literally wanted to cry. I was like, oh my God. Frustrated customers asked Target to investigate for help after they say a Brown County contracting company left them with unfinished work, holes in their houses, and emptied bank accounts. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Target to investigate has learned that contracting company is now under criminal investigation for fraud after dozens of customers filed complaints with local and state authorities. And the business at the center of the investigation is Summit Contracting based in De Pere, offering roofing, windows and other home contracting work. Target to investigates has been looking into the company for months now after multiple customers called us asking for answers and help getting their money back. Sarah Thompson has been on it talking with dozens of people traveling hundreds of miles to talk with those customers and search for answers. She joins us with what she learned in her investigation. Bill and Cammie, we've heard a wide range of complaints from customers of Summit Contracting Incorporated. But as we dug deeper, we found these are not just the civil complaints that are about poor workmanship or the way a business is run. We found Summit Contracting is being investigated for criminal wrongdoing, including contractor fraud. I felt like it was a bit of a bait and switch. Multiple customers. It's a nightmare. Yeah. I agree. Different communities. It's just been a nightmare. The same experience from Marinette to Langlade to Brown County and in nearly a dozen more communities across eastern Wisconsin. Customers tell Target 2 of repeated problems with Summit Contracting Incorporated. When they came on site, um, it just went downhill from the from start to never finishing. Mary Klimchak needed a new roof on her northern Marinette County vacation rental after several feet of snow and ice dams caused leaks last winter. She tells us she paid extra for higher quality ice and weather shield to prevent leaks, agreeing to have Summit Contracting replace her roof April 30th. But they showed up a few weeks early unannounced. And when, when did they show up? Um, late at night on a Sunday, they showed up with a trailer and uh, uh, a big dump trailer and a, a pickup truck. A very angry Klimchak arrived early the next morning, her roof already half replaced. A recent surgery kept Klimchak, who has contracting and roofing experience, from doing the work herself. But she says she knew the products being used were not what she paid for. I ripped it off and I caught them dead in their tracks. And I said, you need to get the right material here and you need to get it here now. Klimchak says she asked repeatedly for paperwork showing what she paid for and what was used, but did not receive it. She also tells us she asked Summit numerous times in late spring to fix the roof as state law requires. But when more crews showed up, she says they didn't have the right materials or tools and even used her supplies. Yeah, they used caulking that I had here. They used saws that I had here, ladders. But Klimchak's biggest concern is money. They emptied out my financial account. I am out thousands of dollars. And so far it's costed me thousands more to get it to where it's secure. Fed up, she contacted the Marinette County Sheriff's Office and showed us the same financing statement she gave detectives, showing the financing company paid Summit $18,000 for her roof one week after they first showed up but didn't finish the job. Did you sign off saying the project was complete? No, never. I never even signed off for them to uh, draw the money. But now she owes the credit company. So you are making payments. Yeah, I have to make the payments in order to keep my credit good. She's not the only one. They've started billing me from the get-go, from day, day one. one. Luther Sinks and Michelle Ruggles hired Summit Contracting in April to put new windows in their Amberg home, but tell us they received bills to start paying before the new windows even showed up. He's not going to mess up his credit whatsoever. So he got the bill, set it up online, and started making his payments. They tell Target 2 when Summit crews did arrive, their brand new screens had holes in them, windows were put in upside down or crooked, and Michelle's daughter cut her foot on broken glass in her bedroom. No, it's not great at all. It's actually, like he said, a nightmare. They are among dozens of Summit customers who've been in contact with multiple law enforcement and police agencies. Target 2 called every sheriff's office in northeast Wisconsin and found open criminal investigations into Summit Contracting in Marinette, Brown, and Manitowoc counties. 
all telling Target to they are looking specifically at contractor fraud and theft, a felony when more than $2,500 is involved. A fourth county, Sheboygan, confirms a contractor fraud complaint was filed this summer, but that outcome remains to be seen. I feel like this constitutes fraud. Michelle Messer filed a complaint with Anago police saying she feels taken advantage of because she ordered a high-end metal roof but says what showed up in her yard was not even close to that. That's what we got. And what did you pay for? We paid for uh, PacClad, which is a completely different company. She demanded and received a refund, but all that roofing material sits in her yard and she's stuck trying to repair the leaking roof and the mess it caused from a collapsed ceiling inside all on her own. I was so mad. I was like, this is not, mm -mm. this isn't going to work. It's not going to happen. After talking with these unhappy customers and nearly a dozen more, Target 2 started digging into the company's history. We found six complaints filed with the Consumer Protection Agency in the last month. The Better Business Bureau tells us it has 16 current complaints on the company. When we received our first calls asking us to look into Summit Contracting back in June, the company had an A-plus rating from the BBB. Since then, a pattern of alert was placed on the company. Then it dropped to a no rating and last week a C rating and is no longer accredited by that consumer agency. The company's BBB profile says it's been in business since 2009, but records Target 2 found filed with the state say it registered as a company last year in September of 2018, one month before the BBB says it received its first complaint about Summit Contracting. We called Summit asking to speak with owners Chad Champers and Nate Smith. Their lawyers called us back, saying one of the owners would grant an interview, but decided late yesterday not to talk with us. Their lawyers told us by phone the company is, quote, young and isn't perfect, but it's not an integrity issue. One lawyer tells us Summit has done $10 million in business in its first year and is a success story, completing 1,000 contracts in just over a year, but has dealt with high turnover and gotten rid of problem employees. That lawyer tells us Summit has stopped using the financing company that allowed Summit to be paid before work was complete. We also asked specifically about the criminal investigations and the complaints of contractor fraud. Summit's lawyer says the company, quote, would deny there has been any contractor fraud, adding no charges have been filed. Summit's second lawyer tells us, quote, despite requests, the U.S. Attorney's Office is unable to articulate specific allegations. Both lawyers tell us Smith and Champers have tried to fix problems, but some customers will no longer return their phone calls, making it, quote, impossible to remedy the situation. The sheriff's offices tell us their investigations are all ongoing. Meanwhile, Summit continues operating its business. If you have a problem, you can file a complaint with Consumer Protection. We have details on how to do that, as well as a lot of tips on researching and choosing a contractor at WBAY.com. So for the last 24 hours, hundreds of you have been calling, emailing, and commenting on the investigation we first alerted you to last night into a local De Pere company, Summit Contracting. After rep uh, repeated calls from angry customers, we began more than four months in of investigation, discovering the company is under criminal investigation for contractor fraud in multiple counties. Sheriff Thompson spent all day responding to people with similar experiences. She's back with answers to some of your questions and what she's finding out about the investigations today. Many of you are sharing your stories about working with Summit Contracting and asking how to file complaints. We're responding to you as fast as we can, and in many cases, what you're describing matches what law enforcement tells us could constitute criminal action. Through all the Facebook messages, comments, emails, and even phone calls, we're hearing a common theme like this viewer telling us. Come to find out, we're not the only ones with issues with this company. Another viewer says, my husband and I just got done dealing with the worst company we have ever encountered. Imagine our surprise when we turned on the news and saw your story tonight at 6 p.m. That couple tells Action 2 News their home warranty company hired Summit Contracting to repair their furnace. After repeated delays and going without heat, they say a technician installed an incorrect part and the furnace stopped working. 
When a tech from another company arrived, they say he told them a crucial piece on the furnace that prevents too much carbon monoxide flowing into the home had been removed and that the furnace was putting out large amounts of CO. Like the customers we showed you last night, others are telling us they too are paying for work that was never complete. One viewer writing, we paid them in full approximately $28,000. The project sits unfinished with very little work done. Adding, this is just a sample of the living hell we've been going through. It has started to affect my health with the constant stress and worry. As they say, the roof still needs to be fixed and is now covered in snow. Some of you are also raising questions about warranties. So if they install it incorrectly and then they go out of business and disappear, you are out of luck. That's Melissa Wass's concern after she hired Summit Contracting to put a new roof on her home in Bellevue early this summer. Like many of you are telling us you're now considering, she hired someone to inspect her roof, which they found to be okay. We asked Consumer Protection about warranty work. It tells us if there's a problem regarding workmanship, the warranty responsibility should fall on the business. If it involves materials, it could involve the manufacturer, but would likely only be honored as long as the product was installed correctly. The Better Business Bureau says it has received some complaints about summit contracting since our story aired last night. We learned federal prosecutors are now also getting involved in a case we brought you in a first alert investigation just a month ago. That involves Summit Contracting, a De Pere based company that prosecutors now say is involved in a fraudulent scheme to take customers' money. The 14-page federal document alleges nearly identical claims to what multiple Summit Contracting customers told us in our original investigation, saying money was being withdrawn by Summit from a financing company before construction work was either completed or even started, and it was being done without customers' knowledge or consent. Prosecutors are filing a complaint seeking a civil injunction, in essence setting strict guidelines on how Summit can conduct any possible future business and ordering it not to destroy any records. It reads Summit's owners, Chad Champers and Nate Smith, quote, have conducted a fraudulent scheme that has harmed and continues to harm scores of victims. It says Summit would use high pressure, deceptive sales techniques and make false statements to get the job making customers sign paperwork they were told was just to approve them for financing. But customers told us, and prosecutors now also say, instead, customers were signing documents that confirmed Summit's work on a project was completed. That released the money to Summit, leaving customers to pay for work they never received. Now this injunction, injunction does not shut the business down, but it says it is trying to prevent future victims. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Horizon Homes, Champers Properties, Nate Smith Construction, Bay Area Construction Services, GC Badgerland Flooring, Smith Sheetrock and Construction, Chad Properties, Good as New, GC Rentals One, and the Kiwani Car Wash. These are the companies we found searching state financial and court records under the ownership and leadership of either Chad Champers or Nate Smith, all in operation at some point in the last 12 years. Your tips told us where to start. One man writing, around 2012-2013, under the business Horizon Homes, Chad Champers did a large construction project. After paying up front for many services and materials, they stopped answering my calls and never returned to fix the work they did wrong. Another woman writing, Chad Champers was known as a different company five years ago. He remodeled my entire house using mostly used parts and inexperienced people. He put in a furnace he told me was brand new, and it turned out to be over 20 years old. We started plugging away, typing the business names first in the Wisconsin Department of Financial Institutions database to find out who registered them. From there, we cross-checked businesses on the Wisconsin Circuit Court Access website to find court cases associated with those businesses. That turned up eight businesses for Champers and two for Smith in just over a decade, not including Summit Contracting. Most stayed open a few years at a time, overlapping with other businesses, and in some cases, 
as court cases added up. Smith is facing a big lawsuit in that company. A Manitowoc homeowner tells the court he and his wife paid Smith $319,000 to build them a new house, but he says the work was never completed and Smith forged their signatures trying to get money from the title company. That case is still pending in circuit court. When we checked for Nate Smith's license to operate as a contractor in Wisconsin, we found it expired in 2017. 